A geolocation ban in Illinois. UK car insurance company under security heat. Breach in South Korean BitThumb exchange. Hackers making millions off Android ad fraud. And security giant to acquire Fireglass. This is Hacker Daily for July 6, 2017. And I'm your host, Kirsten Smith. A new bill has been passed in the state of Illinois that makes it illegal for companies to track a person's phone without consent. The minimum penalty for using geolocation information without permission is $1,000 along with attorney and court fees. Another aspect of this law is full disclosure of what companies collect from consumers and what that data is used for. Exceptions to this new law will include missing children, emergency responses, and IP addresses. Concerning most apps ask permission for a user's location during download, this impact of the bill is still in question. In April, a breach at a UK car insurance company, AA, threatened over 100,000 customer records. A security researcher, Troy Hunt, shared his recent findings of names, email addresses, and partial credit card numbers of AA customers that was available online. This company is now facing criticism for neglecting to notify their customers that any security issue had taken place and that sensitive information had been made public. Cyber thieves gained access to over 30,000 user accounts after a breach on a South Korean BitThumb employee's home PC. Without direct access to user funds, hackers used phone numbers and phishing tactics to steal billions of South Korean won. Fortunately, victims will be compensated up to 100,000 won for verified losses. There is a new strain of malware that has helped hackers collect more than 1.5 million in fraudulent ad revenue over the past two months. The virus, Copycat, is downloaded off third-party markets and infects Androids by basically shutting off its security system. Once infected, Copycat can replace the referrer ID on your apps and collects the revenue with any ad pop-up rather than the app it creators. Although those responsible are still to be named, it's suspected that the Chinese ad network, Mobisummer, is connected to the attack. Symantec plans to buy Fireglass to add browser isolation to its integrated cyber defense platform. Essentially, this will add a layer of protection by isolating browser traffic somewhere safe, such as the cloud. Remotely processing browsing reduces the impact of ransomware attacks because it isn't directly opened onto an endpoint machine. Fireglass technology also enables remote rendering of email attachments and files to avoid malicious downloads on a user's device. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily, brought to you by Pentester Academy. You can follow us at Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. We'll see you next time.